Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to do advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster. So it's a really quick guide on how to do it and I've been making this video from past 3 years and it, this is my third video. So I make this video every year because the version of this game keeps changing and I've been getting some comments lately on please upload the advanced setup of the latest version of this software. So let's get started. So first of all I'll show you how to download Razer Cortex Game Booster. So first of all I'll show you how to download Razer Cortex Game Booster. Just search for download Razer Cortex Game Booster and click on the first link by www.razer.com slash cortex. Open this link in new tab and you will be redirected to this page. Here click on download now and once you click on download now it will be started the downloading of the Razer Cortex installer.exe will be started it is just a 4.54 MB file because it's the installer it's not the software so once you've installed this installer just open this installer and you will have two options to select the software to install Razer Cortex is the game booster and Razer Synapse is the hardware configuration tool so if you have Razer hardware or something keyboards or mouse of Razer you can download this install this also but for me I'll just install Razer Cortex and just click on install and its installation will be started it's just 59 MB but I've already installed it so I'll not be showing you on how to install it again but it's really simple all you have to click is on install and it will be downloaded and it will be installed so I'm going to cancel this installation now now once you have installed it now you have to go to your start menu and here search for R and here it is Razer and here click on Razer Cortex so once you click on it you will be redirected to this page I have already signed up and logged my ID in this Razer Cortex game booster so I am redirected to this page but for the first time when you will open this game booster it will ask you to make an ID on it so just make an ID it's an easy process to sign up on this and once you log in you will be redirected to this page so these are the games I've already added it on Razer Cortex Game Booster. So now I'm going to show you how to add game on Razer Cortex Game Booster. So to add a game on Razer Cortex Game Booster, all you have to do is click on this plus sign and in browse for a game, click on this folder and select the directory of your game. In games, I'll be going to Battlefield 1 and I'll select this application. You have to select the .exe file of your game, the executable file. So for Battlefield 1, here it is, and click on Add. So here's how to add a game on Razer Cortex Game Booster. Now we'll be proceeding to the most important part, that is the advanced setup of this game booster. Now click on Boost, and here you'll get several options: Spatials, Processes, Services, and Non-Window Services. So don't forget to click on Auto Boost because it will automatically boost your game performance when a game is launched. And by default, explorer.exe and launch game on desktop is not selected. So you have to select it for advanced setup. Right now we are doing specials. As you can see specials. So what enabling explorer.exe will do is, these all 8 items will be terminated when you are running a particular game through Razer Cortex Game Booster. So once explorer.exe is turned off, nothing will appear. Even your desktop will be disappeared, even your taskbar all the files running in background will be disappeared and terminated so it's really important because it helps in putting maximum of your pc's ram in running that particular game now come to processes now processes is a really important one so right now 20 processes have been selected for you it might be zero so you have to have a look that what background processes you don't need while running a particular game so i have selected application frame host chrome.exe, windows command processor, dll host.exe, no I am not selecting it, filmora.exe, free download manager.exe and anything you found useless you can select that ws chrome.exe, ws helper, host process windows surface I won't take it, runtime broker.exe, 
nvidia container.exe i won't click on it but i will click on nvidia web helper.exe screen capture.exe i am not selecting it right now because right now i am using screen capture so it will also be turned off and video will not be recorded then so i am not selecting it right now but it's if it's there in your list you have to select it search ui.exe click on it start menu menu experience host and i think that's it so that's all for processes now we'll be going to the services now so in services i'm not clicking on bluetooth service you can click on bluetooth service but i'm not selecting it because i use bluetooth speakers while playing my games so i don't want my bluetooth device to be disconnected while playing the game so i have selected diag track i selected dps fdp host every respub font cache but you just you just select everything except bluetooth service if you use bluetooth speakers while playing or else you can select it and don't select provide tunnel connectivity using ipv6 that is iphl psv and you can select this net tcp port sharing so just don't take on iphl psvc and bluetooth service if you use bluetooth device while playing your game so that's it for services now let's come to non windows services now most of this you have to select you have to terminate adobe update service while playing a game you don't need adobe genuine monitor service you don't need genuine software integrity service you might need this intel content protection so i won't select it select don't select it select team viewer select qm emulator service now intel 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 and this provides storage event so i think that will be it for this non windows services so once you have done it i can you can see 63 items to be boosted so this is the best part when we launch the game then the game is boosted then you get got to know that how much pc's ram is free for running that game but before running that game select fps here click on show fps or while in game so if you want to see frame per second while running the game that what frames are you receiving and what boost has this razer cortex game booster given to your game just select these options now we'll launch the game so i'll be launching the game fifa 19 so let's boost it play as you can see 580 769 1082 and nearly 2 gb of ram was free when i run ran the game fifa 19 with the help of razer cortex game boost let's see here, here it is we are receiving 59 frame per second right now now 58 59 So we are getting about 60 FPS while running this game, and I won't be able to show you gameplay of this game because I might receive a copyright strike if I show the copyright content of eSports. So, but you can see it's receiving about 60 FPS while running this game. Now I'll close this game and let's see what happens. Now it's restoring the 61 items that were that were turn in terminated while using Razer Cortex Game Booster. it really gives a boost to your gaming performance so that's it for this video that's how you can do the advanced setup of the latest version of Razer Cortex game booster as per august 2019 so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day